Hello, classic rock fans. I am reporting the day after seeing Brett Michaels in concert at the Washington County Fair in West Bend, Wisconsin. I hope anyone watching this review uh, watched my review of the Roger Waters concert I saw the night before in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, if only so that you can appreciate the tonal whiplash I am feeling by seeing those two shows, Roger Waters' heavy-handed, political, big theatrical, serious production, uh, followed immediately by the Brett Michaels, nothing but a good vibe uh, tour, which he is calling a party gras. <laughs> West Bend, Wisconsin. It is Brett Michaels bringing the absolute Mardi Gras party grawl to West Bend. We're going to be there Friday, July 29th. It is a Friday night mega party. To go from uh, that to that in two days is uh, just incredible. But I wouldn't have it any other way because that's the beauty of music. You can go all over the place uh, with tones and styles. And the last two days have been great. I... Loved the hell out of this Brett Michaels show. It was full of hits, super positive, very uplifting, good environment, wholesome. My mom's going to be there. She lives and loves Wisconsin. Wisconsin, you rock my world. When I was younger, I always kind of uh, had a snarky opinion of Brett Michaels because he did all that, you know, rock of love and reality TV show stuff that uh, is pretty cringy in, in hindsight, but... Uh, since then, he, I saw he was coming to town, and I thought, you know what, I've never seen him before, I've never seen Poison, let's give it a shot. And I was not disappointed. I love hair metal, and Poison's a great band out of that genre. And the show was a lot of fun. It was very cheesy, <laughs> but that made for a great uh, county fair show, and what I mean by that is, at one point he was wearing an American flag cowboy hat. He dedicated two songs to the troops. And in between every song, he talked about how much he loved and appreciated the people coming out to see him that night. All of which is positive. It's just, again, very, very cheesy and, and I guess, wholesome. <laughs> Good family entertainment. <laughs> Which honestly is not something you can say for a lot of hair metal. So I gotta give it to him, at least for that. The energy was great. His band was fine. Uh, I wasn't familiar with them. Uh, the guitar player was doing all kinds of tricks, playing the guitar behind his head, and you know, definitely hamming it up for the crowd. Uh, his drummer got a drum solo, which did not go overboard, which I really appreciate because hair metal drum solos often suck because they go on for 40 minutes. Hers was just the correct length. And uh, his bass player uh, genuinely looked like a Muppet. But then again, Brett Michaels looks like a Muppet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was all very appropriate. No, I'm just teasing. I, I gotta say, I had a, a really fun time, obviously. I bought the only piece of merch I think is appropriate, which is, you know, his signature bandana. Immediately when the concert ended, he auctioned off to the crowd. Like, just someone shouting prices, and I got $100, I got $200 for his mic stand, which was very weird, and, and some other items, and the mic stand went for like $1,100, and some other stuff went pretty expensive too, all over a thousand bucks. Now, you might initially think that's crass, but he does that for charity. That's raising money for his charity. I think that's pretty unique. I haven't seen that before. That's an interesting way to raise some money for a charity cause, so I'm all for it. I guess my only complaint is that this set was a little short. He only did 10 songs and played for about just a little over an hour. County fair shows, I think, should be about an hour and a half. And I think if he had added two more songs, I wouldn't have noticed anything, but it was just a little short, and every song he did play, they, they were pretty stretched out versions. So he was getting as much as he could out of these tracks. He was squeezing them for all the juice, if you will. But, you know, for a lot of people that's great, because it was only hits, it was straight to the point, and he didn't waste anybody's time. So, from that perspective, I guess that's okay. 
Uh, for me, I would have liked a, a show like this just to be a little bit longer, like I said, about two songs. Uh, but otherwise, the set list was fantastic. Of course, it's awesome singing along with songs like Nothing But A Good Time and Every Rose Has Its Thorn. And I always appreciate an artist who is vocally appreciative and genuine about his appreciation for his fans. Sometimes it's patently insincere when a band says, oh, thank you, and good night, and runs off stage. Fine. But when an artist really makes a point to say how much they appreciate people coming out to the show, that gets a thumbs up from me. That shows a level of humility uh, you don't often see with uh, rock stars or celebrities in general. So in the same way he kept his show short, I'll keep this review short. If Brett Michaels is playing in town, I would definitely recommend going to see him because the term party gras fits. <laughs> it is definitely a party show. It's full of hits. It's super positive. You're going to have some fun. And it's really high energy. So if you want a fun night out, this is a, a good option to pick. Especially because I guarantee no matter where you see him, it's not going to be terribly expensive. If you want to spend a lot of money on Brett Michaels, I guess you can give some money to his charity and buy his bandana wrapped mic stand after the show. <laughs> All right, so yeah, with that, Brett Michaels gets a thumbs up from me. If he comes to your town, check him out. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this concert review, please check out the other concert reviews I have on this page. I guarantee I've talked about someone you're into if you're a fan of classic rock. And if you are a fan of classic rock, please check out the podcast I do about classic rock. Link to that is in the description below. Otherwise, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Those links are also in the description. And please, of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel. So with that, thanks for watching, and keep rocking. <laughs>